Hold up. What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Top Rise. We got the challenge the day after tomorrow. And I'm telling you, off road cars is what you definitely need here. So I hope you get your that soon ready. And just kill it with that. Let's see. Okay. Well, we are. We just did the first round. Easy. So, so. Mm, yeah, we got a quarter mile drag on snow and. Don't uh, overlook it. The half mile drag is on rain asphalt, so don't come with off-road tires. And um, this is a typical case where you actually don't need standard tires so much. Having the standard tires gives you like just like a little bonus right in the beginning. Afterwards, it's really about how fast your car is. So don't really count on standard tires so much when you do like half mile or full mile drag races um, on rain um, you just need speed you just need speed and obviously don't use slick tires that's the only thing what you should seriously should not do that ladies and gentlemen but the rest i mean you can just do if you do a uh, performance tires you can use those or if you, even better like i would use here right now are uh, four-wheel drive performance tires uh, just a fast car and fast enough to to make it work here basically so uh going through it and yeah a little bit what happens on the weekend i mean on the weekend we will have the i will do the video for the prelim no prelims qualifications for the viper gtr it's a really cool one uh, looking forward to that then i think on sunday we will do a good old pack opening dropping in a couple packs uh, which i opened in the last time and i'm thinking about doing a little bit since it's going here as well, uh, French Renaissance. I'm thinking about doing a comparison video between a French Renaissance pack and the usual French premium pack. What do you think? Which one is better? Which one is better? However, this is going to happen on top drives. Then regarding other games, I'm thinking uh, I want to play a little bit more Salute to Racing. I really enjoy that game. Really enjoy that game. Maybe Talk Drift, maybe trying out the uh, GTR R32 in Nitro Nation. Uh, the new skyline which they have in there it's not really new i mean come on but it's it's an iconic car i don't know if you could choose which skyline would it be would it go would you go for the typical r34 would you go for the r33 or the r32 that's i mean it's not that easy i think it's not that easy to uh yeah i, don't know. I mean the r34 is, is typical paul walker skyline it's a beautiful car don't get me wrong there, but I'm thinking like, mm, it's difficult, it's difficult. But here in Germany, those cars are almost unreachable. It's like you need to import them and they cost a fortune. They, uh, they cost a fortune. I just saw the other day that, I don't know if you follow any other YouTubers, but for example, Black Panther, Theo, he got a Skyline, not just, but he got a Skyline for a while now. And he's so happy, but it cost him a fortune as well. And he wants to get the new Supra as well. So he is in fully car purchase mode, definitely. I will probably meet him on Gamescom. I don't know if some of you guys are coming to Gamescom. Let me know down below. Have you been to Gamescom? Are you planning to go to Gamescom? Then, yeah, maybe we can have a chat there. If you see me, just say hi. Don't be shy. And, yeah, so going through it now. So, 566 to 0, day after tomorrow. By the way, um, I hope for the younger folks out there, you have seen that movie. The day after tomorrow is actually a movie, and that's why everything is snowy here usually um, on those tracks, because it is a like, typical catastrophic climate change movie. It's really cool. However, it's really cool. I, I can recommend you to watch it. It's especially in the... It's, uh, current times of climate change all over the world that's why by the way here currently in germany we have freaking 35 degrees and tomorrow i'm going to a football tournament i'm like Whoo, this is going to be hot out there so so a little bit snow now nah, snow would be too much but a little bit shades wouldn't be too bad i don't know how hot is it at your place right now i heard like all over europe it should be really hot 
so killing this one. Look at this, man. Again, it shows you all surface tires without four-wheel drive. Yeah, not really so helpful. Never was, never been, really. <laughs> oh, we got an F-Pace there. <coughs> hmm, twisty road, okay. Going through 137 and finishing that 675 to 0. I'm actually um, not. I, I like it that they uh, drop packs now, which are more related to to the upcoming um, bigger events, like now for the um, Viper GDS, for example, because that French Renaissance apparently seems to be very useful. So um, why not? Why not? Could be actually good. Maybe we get another the Nomigan trophy, or maybe we get the big prize, a freaking Bugatti, which could help us so much. Uh huh. Happen road coming in. Sweet. Killing that 628 to 0. Hmm. We got the one mile drag, but I should beat him. Definitely use the cash. So we got a hill climb now. <coughs> I'm getting out my hill climb monster, my beautiful G63, doing a good job there. Bam! And he's disqualified. Should be good. Flying through this. I mean, my Datsun squad is definitely useful. And I just got another one, which I might keep as well. I, since I never got really the um, the other Nissan yet, I'm gonna keep the Datsun. I will build it up as well. <laughs> oh, GeForce test, look at that. On snow, he's dropping in some heavy guns, but I think I should still make it. I love starting with a disqualification from him. And yeah, finishing with 689 points. So, one more round and then we're already on the finals. And let's see what we can get there. Well, as I told you, it's going to be snowy, that's for sure. There we have the big battle. Uh, but winning by 102 points, eh? The G-Wagon. Here we go, mountain hairpin, mountain slalom, both on snow, city streets medium, make sure, medium clearance, ground clearance, half mile drag and mountain twisty road on snow. So don't be too afraid of using your Datsun cars on those, they still kill it. I mean those are freaking rally cars, so they can go. And look at this, look at this, Ooh, passing him, even though he was in the beginning going a bit. But no can do for you. And wow. What a close match, to be honest, for this one. I can always recommend you to do a full look at one of the first rounds, usually, just to see where you are, where are your weaknesses in your hand, and so 
And then after that you can go the usual Skippy. Skippy program. So, okay. By the way, yeah, you need four Nissan cars. Mm -hmm. Going through it. And yeah, almost done now, almost done. I will not show you the last hand, but um, trust me, it's not that difficult probably. And I will do that for the big comparison video for the um, French pack on Sunday. So I wish you a pleasant day, ladies and gentlemen. That was a casual mobile gamer, and I'm out.